Hi, integrated family. Tom here. I want to show you a Python install, but even though installing Python is pretty easy, there's some things I want you to be aware of regarding environment variables that will really help save you some grief in many situations. And if you already know this stuff, uh, I think I'll be able to show you a little bit of extra stuff that'll be helpful too. So first thing I want to do is just go into my Windows search bar and type env. And you can see in most cases this will bring up edit the system environment variables. But that is what we're looking for in case env won't bring that up for you. And when I click on that, I want to be looking at the advanced tab. And that's where I'll find environment variables. And you'll notice <clears throat> that if I find my path variable with me as the user, and I edit that, I do not currently have Python 3.9, the latest version. Now I have these other versions of Python, but if I install uh, Python 3.9, I should expect to see a directory that looks exactly like this one and this one, but with Python 3.9. So let's see if that happens. And I will go and open up a browser, and we want to go to python.org. I'm already there. And if you just hover over Downloads, it'll suggest the latest stable version for download. If you needed to install other versions, you could go to these other platforms. By the way, Linux is easy, but it's a different animal. I would recommend you usually don't install Python for Linux. Why? Because it's already installed. And the best version for your distribution is already installed. And don't get caught in the trap of thinking you need to have the latest version of Python on your Linux distribution. The one you have is probably fine. I'm going to go ahead and click on Python 3.9.2 and that's going to suggest a download. You can see I've already had one queued up. I'll just re-download it. It goes really fast <clears throat> and you can see that executable is already here. Why? It's not very big. It's doing a web type install. So we'll click on that. <clears throat> and this is the default type installation that we want to follow. If this may or may not be, this may or may not be grayed out for you. If it is grayed out, uh, that's usually an indication that your system administrator for the laptop you're using uh, set it up that way. But I would recommend you check that anyway. And here's the key thing. To get those directories added to our path variable, we want to click here. It'll add the base Python directory for Python 3.9 and the scripts directory under that also. So with that checked, we click Install Now. By the way, I'm going to fast forward through this, so I'll come back on when it's near the end. Okay, great. The setup was successful. And if you're new to Python or if you, you haven't installed it many times, I personally think it's well worthwhile to look through some of this extra stuff here. But for now, I'm going to close that. Okay, for one last check, let's make sure those directories for Python 3.9 got added to the path variable. So again we go over here to the search and type environment to get to the system properties and look at the environment variables. And we look at path. We can't already see what happened. Yes, they got added. Now, there, there are cases where it may not show up right away. Um, it's very rare. You may need to do a repair install, a reinstall. You may simply need to reboot. But most of the time, they'll show up. And worst case, you need to reboot to make sure that those new system environment variables are used. OK. Now, there's one last thing we want to note. Let's get out of this. <clears throat> And let's start a command prompt window or a shell. Uh, my favorite one is con emu. I strongly encourage it. You can have multiple tabs open. 
and we're going to go into what's called the Python interpreter. I just type Python and <clears throat> this is significant. Python 3.9.2 started because it's the earliest in the path. It will search there first for a Python executable. If it hadn't, it might have opened Python 3.8 or 3.7. So this is important. If you have multiple Python instances in, instances in your path also, in other words, multiple Python versions, um, the one that's occurring first for the base directory and the scripts directory, that's the one that will be used. And, But why do I keep those other ones in my path? It's simple. Uh, if for a while I need to do more development on the other and I want the system to treat that one as more important, I can move it to the top of the stack and reboot my system. And now I can be sure it will use one of those other two versions. Why would I do this? Because I may have some code in development that I haven't updated to a later version of Python and I may not want to deal with that yet. So I just keep those other versions of Python installed until I know all my codes rolled over to the latest one. Now let's do a quick test in this uh, interpreter uh, to make sure that our Python uh, 9, 3.9 install is working okay, sure enough, and then a simple for loop. And this is, oops, I fat fingered that. Once it knows I'm dealing with a multi-line, I can do that. It'll it'll deal with that. So I'm just going to do a print I here. And once it knows I'm done, uh, I just hit enter again at one of those ellipses, those three dots, and it'll complete the, the run. The Python interpreter is powerful. It's even more uh, raw than notebooks. Uh, but the reason I typically don't use it very often unless I need a fast calculator or something like that, is because the code that I'm prototyping and testing, I like to keep it in a set of Python learning directories to make sure I keep track of those experiments because they become like my own personal stack overflow or web search. Instead of searching the web, I can, I can research and search back on past experiments I've done in carefully named folders that make sense to me. Okay, so I hope all of this helped. And uh, if you need more, please let me know and I will add them. Take care.